What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about MANA today uh, at the request of World Travel Ventures. We're going to be talking about MANA for you, my friend. Um, looking at MANA, doing what it's doing, um, I think you're on your way, man. I think you're on your way. We, we are on our way. I, I hold a good bit of MANA myself, man. I think it's going to do phenomenal, phenomenal. Top to bottom here, probably this low. Yeah, look at that. You checked back this week on your 236 after breaking above it. We're moving up to about 86 cents probably from here. And when that line breaks, when we break 86, 87 cents, it's all the way up to $1.80, 225 in a short amount of time, man. In a very short amount of time. Look what happened last time we were at these exact prices. We consolidated for one two, three, four weeks, and then on the fifth week, explosive movement all the way up. Absolutely. We're at a key phase of resistance here where we've been accumulating for multiple years, or, or at least over a year, right? Uh, when we break this, it's going to be stupendous. It's absolutely going to be stupendous. Now, a couple of the cryptos I've been looking for whenever they do these breakouts, uh, instead of doing this immaculate run up like I'm expecting, they do this thing where they break out and they come back and they, they chill right above their breakout zone. And if that happens, okay, cool. This, this run all the way up here or higher will just be postponed until several months later. It'll, you know, we'll still move up like this. We won't move up like this, but I hope that makes sense. Um, but I do expect it to happen one way or another. Probably by the end of this year, you guys, mana will see prices above $2. We're at 62 cents, 0. 0.6 right now. Looking at the daily, uh, yeah, I like that as a low. I really do like that as a low. So, I mean, we could move lower today, tomorrow, whatever. Um, I don't think we will move too much lower, though, honestly. Um, I like the four-hour. I don't know, man. That, that almost looks like an inverse head and shoulders. It almost does, but it doesn't. It's a pretty long right shoulder compared to the left shoulder. But, hey, I guess it's, it's about the same, though, isn't it? Left shoulder here. Right there, 14 bars, because this is your head right here. That's the start of your head. Here's the end of your head there. We're literally at the 15th bar right now, so I suppose they are pretty pretty symmetrical in length. Yeah, it kind of looks like an inverse head and shoulders. On the four hour, in which case we would look for a move. That was not the right measure move. Come on now, there we go. Take us back to 77 cents, baby, and then probably beyond that. Measure moves do not have to be restricted to that. We can absolutely exceed that. We could fall short of it, of course, but I, th I think we want to move higher. Yeah, man is looking good, guys. So that's that's all I got to say. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to see more. If we do go down, being at 62 and a half cents right now, we could go as low as like 50 cents. We could you know, maybe even go to like 43, 45 cents, but I doubt we go too much lower than that. I very much doubt that we go below the slow right now, but it can happen. Um, but yeah, that's, I just wanted to say that in case it does go down, not some, some people, whenever, whenever they hear that, they're like, he just wants to be right in case it goes up in case it goes down. He wants to say, he called it. I don't care about calling it, bro. I don't give, I really don't give a damn. I'm not saying it for that. I'm saying it could go down because if I'm wrong, and I will be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. If I'm wrong and we don't go up from here and instead we go below this low, the low that I'm talking about is at 54.4 cents. If we go below that, I don't want people panicking. We could go below it and we're still fine. Okay. I'm not calling for that. I'm very specifically, this is how you know I'm, I'm being real whenever I say I don't care about the, oh, it's going to go up. It's going to go down. So I'm right either way. I don't care because I make it clear as to what direction I, plan I expect it to go. I expect the price to go up from here. I very much do. Probably getting ready to break out of this high. Are we going to, the next time we interact with this area, are we going to break through it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, but maybe not. We could consolidate here. We could consolidate below this high for multiple months to come. It could happen. Slowly building higher lows, consolidating at this area. But if for whatever reason before that, we go below here. I don't want people to think, okay, this thing's dead. It's going to zero. Like that's, that's the reason I talk about the downside so that, so that you can be mentally prepared that, oh, it went down here. This wasn't expected. Hmm. 
it's going to be fine. It's at a discount. Maybe I should buy more, you know, not financial advice. Do what you want to do. But um, it's not about being right or wrong, man. It's mainly about being patient and executing when the opportunity presents itself. So manna is going to present us an opportunity soon, guys. It actually is an opportunity right now, in my opinion. But um, these opportunities are going to be far and few in between as the weeks, as the months go on, because inevitably we will see prices that by the end of this year, I very much believe we will be above $2. And who knows, man, we could be way higher than that. But for the time being, I like it. I think it wants to move up. If I'm wrong, don't be scared. That's all I got to say. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.